Coach, 65-56 win today. San Diego State took the early lead, but you guys fought back and then had a really strong second half. Just overall, your thoughts on the game? Uh, I think this was a really good win for us. Um, you know, San Diego State's a, a really a good team, very good team, and they're going to do really well in the Mountain West Conference. They've got a lot of experienced players and transfers from um, you know high-level programs. They play they play a good game. I, we knew this would be a tough matchup. Um, I didn't think we played particularly well in the first half. I think um, we settled down a little bit, and uh, our defense improved in the second half. I thought uh, uh, we did a really nice job of sharing the ball. Um, Jasmine uh, Gales came in off the bench and obviously gave us a spark offensively. But it was more, you know, really in that first half, her toughness. I think in one one possession she went in with the trees and grabbed two offensive rebounds, and then that kind of sparked Deb, and she got involved in the rebounding and. I thought Abby Rathbun uh, came in, gave us some toughness and really good defense. She made some really nice passes. So uh, I think we had 42 points off the bench, um, which is phenomenal for us. It's, you know, Yo, you know, we always expect you wanted to score, 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 score. I think she really sacrificed some of her scoring tonight to be a fantastic defender on Mercedes Staples. Um, and to really find some open players and open teammates. You know, when your two returning all-conference players can score 10 points and you still beat a quality team, it's, it's good. We have some, some really good pieces, and, you know, I think, um, like I said, this is a good win, and hopefully we'll continue to, to be able to build on this as we prepare for WCC. Now, you mentioned the defense. You forced 25 turnovers, which is an <coughs> extremely high number. Obviously, as a whole, you guys have been playing really strong defense, leading the WCC in opposing field goal percentage and three-point percentage. What is that forcing turnovers, just knowing that it's already hard for other teams to score on you, add to that element on, on the defensive end? Well, I think it was it was kind of out of necessity tonight. You know, Avenger was really hurting us. She does a, you know, it was hard for us to guard her one-on-one -on -one off the dribble, and so uh, we kind of started to, to trap the ball screens, try to get the ball out of her hands, and... Um, you know, Deb being a, as big as she is, and then our guards did a really nice job of kind of getting deflections, getting some hands on balls. Abby got some hands on balls. Amelie did. So um, obviously when you can create some offense with your defense, I think that's what we were able to do in the second half and, and give us a little bit of a cushion there. So, um, but yeah, I, you know, it was, I was pleased with the effort defensively tonight. Now you mentioned Abby, obviously all those months just not being able to get on the court and play. Now she's three games in and having a strong performance in a big game. Just what does that mean for you knowing you've had her for five years and all she's fought through and to get back to this point and to contributing on a team that's won five in a row? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, if you could have a team of 15 Abbies, you would be a really happy coach. She's like, uh, you know, she's one of the hardest working players I've ever coached. She's extremely coachable. She's tough. She's hard nosed. She comes and sets an example every day with her work ethic. She's a great teammate, you know, genuinely happy for her teammate's success. Um, so it's, it's great to have her back out on the court and it's, it just is, um, gives such a comfort level. There's such a level of comfort when you've got kids that have been in the program for four and five years. And we've got a number of those that, that really, um, helps our, certainly our chemistry and our dynamic out on the floor. Looking ahead next week, home against Arkansas Pine Bluff in the second road game against the Colorado State team. What are you looking for from the team to continue on and to hopefully keep the streak going? Yeah, I mean, you know, just everything's in preparation for WCC, which will be, you know, coming up at the end of December. So we've got two more games to kind of um, figure out who we are, figure out rotations, who can help us. Hopefully Lauren will, will get healthy over the next couple of weeks with her with her ankle issue. and. Um, you know, we Colorado State on the road will be a really tough game. They're, I think, picked first or second in the Mountain West, so that'll be a great game. And it's always, it's always nice to be able to play at home. We've had lots of home games, and and that was intentionally done this this semester. So, um, just keep our kids excited and positive, and and getting better and improving.